All right, what's up, boys? This is going to be how to dominate number 18. Everyone was requesting Kazakhs in the comments, so we're going to be doing Kazakhs here. We're going uh, standard Kazakhs runes, Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter. Really good on Kazakhs for soloing Dragon and stuff like that. And then Absolute Focus, Water Walking um, is what I take. You can also take Absolute Focus, Gathering Storm, but essentially just for Sorcery Tree, it's Absolute Focus and then whatever the other rune um, that you want is. I'm going to ward over here myself either way. So this is actually a really tough game initially. Um, Kazix versus Udyr is not a great matchup for Kazix in the early game, but if you get through the early game, you end up just outscaling super hard. Also, they have Kale, which stops my resets. Talon's pretty difficult for me, and Pike is pretty difficult for me as well, and Singe is not easy either. So I don't actually have any champions that I'm naturally good against this game. I just have to play like intelligently, take free kills when I can, and just play like a carry. This is what we're going to be trying to do. Okay. Good leash. So I'm not gonna path to a crab. This is something that I only do with like a champion like Kazix that's super weak. Like if I walk anywhere close to the um Udir and he sees me, he can easily kill me. Like he can just walk at me with, with bear stance and just I'm just dead the second he does that shit. So I'm going to uh just clear up and then we'll see. Also, just in general, like, top, I'm going to have no priority in the early game. Um, mid, I'm not going to have priority either, so. I got to just path around that shit. Looks like he start, He went bot side here. Don't think he went to my blue, though. Okay, he's bot side. Is he red? Yeah, he does. Okay. He got Nami sums. So I'll be able to get top crab off this. He went for the early level 2 gank. It's why it's good for like bot laners to ward this. Um, like the support just warding one of the crabs and then I ward the other. Because then like we're able to just know where he is. I actually might look for this. Free kill. Just trying to push in versus Aatrox. Okay, I just want the stack. I'm gonna go do crab. We can do this, but he needs to start with his combo. Okay, there we go. I don't know why Singe420 decided to go back in there. Like, I shouldn't be taking any of the CS to be honest. We got a kill there, that's exactly what we needed. Bot's getting ganked. They, he's been ganking bot. I've been ganking top. That's just how it goes. Perfect. Okay. Good. Gonna rotate to crab. Take crab. Then take this. And then back. <laughs> You're nuts. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. He's dead as fuck. Whatever. What's that wave doing? Actually, that's going to push back to us. He should have pushed that himself. Bot's dead again. They decided 2v2 this time. That's my W. It didn't actually matter at all. I'm going to be pretty much full health anyway, and I'm looking to back early. So versus champion, like, a lot of people take blue smite on Kazakhs. I take blue smite a lot of games as well, but um, versus champion, like, Udyr as Kazakhs, I normally take red smite because I just want to uh, be as tanky as possible and be able to 1v1 him later in the game like once I get stacks it's actually not that bad all right so can I grab this start just to be efficient you're gonna jump out of the base nice another kill on singed it's about even now it has been ganking quite a bit so have I he's only level three though and I'm level five so it's good I want to just clear this, get it off the map as quick as possible. That's why I walked here. Like, I saw I took the big one, but I want my camp to reset. So that's why I'm taking this. This is just not good. Whatever. They shouldn't be trying to fight that so aggressively. But we can do. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, I agree with the Katarina there. It's, just a, it's a funny way to put it. Hmm. He could have played that a little bit better. Uh, I should have been autoing. So since I did the crab late, it um, won't spawn yet for a little bit. I was going to smite that. I have pressure on him here because I have uh, mid prio, so I'm just playing around that here. Use my water walk and get up here. Hmm, that's he's gonna be gone. Yeah, we're not getting that. As soon as he ding six, there's no chance. But at least we got his ult. It's not bad. Gonna go back into. Actually, I'm just gonna recall here. No point of going back into my jungle there. He might go for my red. I'm going to just buy boots here, just so I can get to it. At least we burn Singed ult. That's fine. This guy is just walking straight up. He gives no fucks. I respect it, though. We've got levels over the Udyr, which is good. I got to be a little bit careful here, because Talon's going to have Pryo. He can walk to me ASAP. Okay, so this means that Udyr did crab. Okay, he's coming here now. I'm level 5. Okay, so I flashed in because that was going to give me six, which gives me an advantage here. All right, going to pick up both souls. Got one over here. Got another one over here, right? Okay, got both. Good. Solid. That was a risky way to play that, but I thought that just hitting six, I'd be able to stealth kite it out, do that bullshit, you know? Not gonna fuck around with him too much. He actually beats me 1v1 here. Okay. We're not killing him. This is just singe things, man. Please tell me they kill him. Ugh, this is why Singe is annoying for Kha'Zix. Up until I have like a couple items, then I can just start. I actually didn't think that the... Um, W is going to bring him back there. I thought he was out of the range, but I wasn't 100% sure. Got to be careful here. So the Uder's trying to invade me aggressively because he knows that he is stronger than me at this point, but it's just not working. Bot's pretty damn hard for me to gank, though. Pretty worried about that. I think his uh, rates actually could be up here. Gonna look for it. Yeah, they are. Normally jumping in wouldn't be good here, but I'm just doing it because we know where the Kha'Zix is. We know he was in base. All right. I'll leave. Alright, I have to look bottom, but bottom's really hard to gank. So I'm gonna be going Duskblade this game, and because they're they're like pretty tanky, it's gonna be Duskblade into um Duskblade into Cleaver will be this type of game because they're gonna have uh singed and 
Udyr, which will be pretty tanky. Pike's going to be super tanky as well because he's going to go full tank Pike. Don't know why Riot's deciding to buff that champion, but yeah, he'll be doing that. Um, Talon, Talon's like pretty hard for me to just purely one shot when he um, has like invisibility and stuff. And Kale has ult, so it's like I don't have a target to really just jump on and re reliably kill over and over again. So I will get the dust blade just for, so I have like good damage, so they have to respect me. But um, I am going to be playing like a more like bruisery style Kazix where I go uh, cleaver into GA most likely. Okay, he took this at some point. I just want to get a ward down. It's a good chance that they see me here. So I'm going to put this backwards into my jungle. Okay, so they don't know exactly where I am. Okay, we got his flash. That's all we're going to get here. Uh, yeah, it's more than just uh, me there. He was going over because he was like, oh, dude, Talon's going to jump this wall too. They're going to kill me. But Katarina was sitting in the bush, so feels good. going to come here and snag both of these stacks, actually. There's also a chance we can take turret or dive, so we're going to look. Nah, we're just going to back off. I'm going to take Crab here. When you have Dark Harvest, make sure you're managing your stacks. Like, 84 is pretty good for 12 minutes, so we'll take this. The thing about Singe is, like, this champion you can just int on, and then it still be useful because just how it's designed. Botlane got double killed. They got first turret bot. How is bot inting to kill? These are the questions I ask myself every day, guys. These are the questions I ask myself every day. Okay, so I've got a good matchup for Uter now. Like, this is the point where I've outscaled him. Um... And yeah, I'm going to be looking to just uh, play intelligently around my lanes. Like, I'm going to pretty much need Katarina to go in and get people low, and then I'm going to try to, like, clean up, kill people when they're isolated. This guy gets a free kill here. Not the greatest for me because he has, like, a 750 kill shutdown, but what can you do? It's pretty rough, though. Yeah, so in a game like this where you don't have reliable targets to kill, you're not going to be able to get your resets like that consistently it's good to um look for uh cleaver and w max second actually really solid strategy all right i want to back at some point i'll probably back after blue i'll have 1500 no one's here for this i'll take this i guess Okay, whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah, this is completely okay. Like, uh, I'm just going to back at 1500 so I can get my um, Serrated Dirk and my Caulfield's Warhammer. Those are the names. God, bot is just running it the fuck down. Jesus. I'm just going to come top just for stacks, I think. Udyr's walking here, and I'm just going to try to kill the Udyr when he walks into me. If he does walk into me. Okay, I'll just take the kill, I guess. I got to be careful here because uh, Pike made a motion towards this, so I, I don't want to walk in until I have my uh, W at least. Actually, I'm just going to back. Fuck it. No point. I could try to push this turret. I guess we'll do that. Bot is just tongue face. Nice. I like to see that, dude. Get double killed like four times over and then just tongue face. Okay. I'm going to get a Dark Harvest stack here and then I'm going to get Crab if I can. Nice. All right, I'm going to try to pick off the Udyr, I guess.
Ooh, I'm gonna walk this way actually. I think we win this. Mm, maybe not. Oh yeah, he got, he's got this. He's got this. I believe he's in. This. Oh, oh, maybe not. Yeah, this guy's never gonna hit anything. Don't don't worry about that. Probably overcommitment there onto the Udyr there. I didn't think that I was gonna get killed, and I thought if um, Thailand killed me, he would still just die as a repercussion for it. So not the best. We've got Dragon coming up in 23. We gotta fight that. I have a good amount of stacks though. 118. I'll take it. This guy might just die before the dragon, though. Uh, actually running it down, but whatever. This happens all the time in NA, and Riot doesn't really, like, care about these types of situations, so they just let it go on. Pretty much as long as they're not, like, 0 and 50, <laughs> the Riot's okay with it. At least that's how I see it. Dies when Infernal's up? You goddamn right he did. Well, I stole the Infernal, but um, we immediately tried to fight afterwards. I, I, I don't believe he's win trading. I don't think that many people win trade in the CLO. I think it's just, uh, just like, didn't like how the lane phase went. A little bit frustrated, just decided to not care anymore. Okay, well, let's keep on going. This guy's a Talon main. Hmm. Yeah, so we're just going to still go towards uh, Cleaver. Probably get a get Tabbies when I can. And just try to stack my Dark Harvest as high as possible. Somebody took these camps. Did Was it Singed? Did Singed counter jungle me? No way. I don't believe it. So there, you, I, I, he's isolated, right? So I ran at him, um, instead of trying to auto, I ran at him just to stay in Q range, because my Q range is actually longer than my auto range. Just keep that Dark Harvest stacked. I made sure not to chase him into the poison. I made, like, I made the situation go like this. I smite him, he trades his ult for my smite. If he wants to fight, I'm not, like, he has to come back into me. I'm not gonna give him the fight. If I chase after him and aggressively try to kill him, I just, I just die there for free. So I have to make sure that I'm like keeping my distance and playing smart in that situation. Okay, all right. So we've got a big lead on the Udyr still. 132 stacks. It's not bad. God, maybe I should just hang around my bot lane and just like since there's 0-12, I'll just get like so many souls off them. Free kill there. Got a bunch of stacks. Look to push mid actually. The main problems are gonna be Pike and Kale, obviously. You can look for hits on this. Oh god, what is this? I'm gonna take red. Okay, got another kill there. Not sure what's happening with Nami, but he's dead. Got a big lead. Yeah, definitely a cleaver type of game. That Kale is just ungodly huge, because the thing you have to think about is not only does he have 10 kills, but he probably, like, out of these 8 assists, 5 of them are probably just the Pike's ult sharing, so... Gotta just run. Ooh. 
We can, we can get the shut down here. Double uh, Dark Harvest stacks there. Another crab that he gets. He's going to start getting some of the crabs because just the um, the way it's going. But I have 182 stacks. Like, I can really do work here. And we got the kale, uh, the kale shut down. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, but our team got it, which is good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there I need to jump into the kale. I need to jump into the kale and then immediately stealth and then run away. And kite out his ulti. Oh shit, he's going hard. Holy moly. This is uh it's a little crazy. I think he's a little bit just like upset at our bot line, so he's kind of doing things that don't really make sense. Uh help me! <laughs> Good bubble, bro. Thank you. Alright, well we tried our best to survive there, but that's that's fine. I'm probably gonna need a Ma here actually at this point. Gonna need Ma and GA. Probably call it a day off that. I probably won't need less Lord Doms or anything like that, so we'll just keep it like this for right now. 2 and 14 balling. Goddamn right. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty fucking troll. Alright, so Infernal's up in 12. We're like suiciding before it, which isn't great, but what can you do? Maybe I can steal a second one. I still have an insane amount of stacks, like 200 stacks in 22 minutes. I'll be doing insane damage. It's just, it's hard to kill this Kale, man. Kale's probably just going to solo this, to be honest. Okay. Hit that plant. Nope, no attempt to steal. All right. Well, tried. Okay, I'm going to be going top side here. Oh, I, I muted him for some reason. I can't w imagine why I have a player blocked like a player like that. I'll give you guys the full experience of playing in high elo. Oh man. Actually, we can win this, I think. Oh, never mind. I thought that, that was Katarina. Katarina's bot. I guess I shouldn't have went for that. That's my bad. I actually didn't think like they would all be there. Like that was just such a weird situation that Udyr was just behind me, it threw me off. Okay. Kale will be down for a little bit. Yeah, they're definitely just on it. These guys. Okay. 210 stacks. Not bad. Okay. Gotta just keep on farming. Kale's strong. I don't know. I feel like I need armor and I need MR. I mean, maybe I can pick up a Hex Drinker here instead of a BF Sword. I kind of just want the GA for the revive, though. Because I'm probably going to force out at least Kale ulti before... Before I die, and if like I force out Kale ulti, I die. I go into my GA, and then I come back. I'll probably be able to kill one person before I die again. Let's hit this ward. Ooh. Guys, maybe dead again. Okay. 
I was trying to bait out his ult there. That was good, though. Three for two. We'll take it every time. Does he have Zanyas now? Oh, he has Arm Guard. I was wondering why he was so tanky. Okay, let's go top side here. Look for that singed. We can probably kill him. Nice. Pick up the soul. So I can be more liberal with my jumps now because I have resets. So if I jump in and kill somebody, it's not just insta-death. I don't know what this is. I didn't press R. It's unfortunate. Oh, maybe it is insta-death. Damn. I wasn't able to get my Q off or I could have turned that. Nice. Not the end of the world, honestly. Guess I shouldn't have jumped in there. I thought I'd be able to full combo the um, Talon and Stealth, but I got like CC'd while I was Stealth. It's pretty rough, actually. We're gonna have to lose an inhib here. Man, we're, we're pretty weak, man. This Kale is uh, destroying our team. This guy just autoed a little bit more. I'm pretty sure we could win. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We can probably uh, counter take a mid and hit. Yeah, I don't think I should have jumped in there. If I WEQ autoed and got all of it off, I would have one shot him, but I didn't get it all off. I should have started with WE. Interesting. Not the play we wanted to go for, but it's okay. Kill. Coming to my team. Okay. Some more stacks. 260 stacks. This is a ton of stacks, man. I'm gonna get my GA. I might get a stopwatch as well for right now while I can't buy anything else. I, I will do that. Stopwatch is super useful. I haven't bought a stopwatch yet. So I can like do things like go in, stealth, then get an ult, um, get the stopwatch. Let me clear the word that I'm backing on. I was talking and didn't realize. Um, yeah, we can do things. I do enough damage that, like, the Kale has to respect me now. A Last Whisper could be good last item, but I really think I need Ma versus Kale. So your, your um, W is at 80% slow when they're isolated, so that's why it's so good second. We need to start getting some control. We need HR to kind of just walk in and die, honestly. And we can just play off that.
my dark harvest stacks do so much to the turret but now i just don't have it for a fight so just got to consider those things can't commit too hard while they still have ultis up okay well that is the opposite of what i just said that's committing extremely hard when they have ultis up I'm gonna go for Baron here. We're just gonna end. They're just gonna end, huh? I guess we don't get a chance. This guy needed to get off his Anyas. Wait. I was spamming my stopwatch, I couldn't get it off. Didn't matter. We we lost off that last play. Well, that'll be the Kazus commentary, dude. Uh, Kazus is one of my favorite champions, but something that I've played a decent amount in the past. Hopefully, even though this was a loss, people were able to learn something. Um, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of stacks. I mean, sometimes you get into in high low. That's just how it goes. So, thank you for watching, man. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure if you like the video, drop a like on it, dude. If you enjoy this content... Those likes help more than anything uh, anything you'll believe, man. So appreciate it, and I will see you guys another time. Peace.